The for and loops can be used with objects. Uh, you can actually subscript into an object and retrieve properties, but it's a little easier to use a for in loop for that if you want to process all of the properties. So in this little example, our object is called pet, and we have three properties, name, breed, and color. So if we say for x in pet, so pet's our object, x is going to be our subscript, and then we can take the x subscript into pet, and it's automatically going to grab the first property, display it, the second property, display it, the third property. And let's take a look at the for in example here. Enter the name of your pet, Fido. The breed, poodle. Color, white. Okay, so you can see that it went through and did the loop. We can also come out here. And you can see the for in is used to loop through an object. And let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So here they've got a person uh, with first name, last name, and age. And then we've got four X in person. And here it's just adding it to a little text string. Okay. And then again, it's targeting this little demo where it's going to display everything. So you can see John Doe 25 is getting displayed. Okay, so it's filling it in here. And then this is how we are targeting this little demo area.